once again a voy bleh. Should I start again? No, let's carry on with it. Once again, a very warm welcome to Flight Sim and Other Stuff. And we're continuing with the Stream Deck. And those that have been following it, as you know, I'm building up a series on how to configure and program up a Stream Deck with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it does take a little bit of work. It's not masses of work, but it does take a little bit of work. And while you're working on that, you can't fly. Now there are a whole stack of plugins for Stream Deck or profiles for Stream Deck that have already done all the work for you and you can just take those. They allow you to get up and fly and use the Stream Deck and if you want to go further and start modifying those that's why you should watch the series. But I started the series going into how to program it up and what I should have really done is start the series with, hey, here's the quick way. Go to flightsim.to, download the profiles, bish bash bosh, and you're up and running. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a very short video because it is very easy. Riding a bike is very easy once you know how. So let's take you through the basics of how this works. He says, I'm jumping, jumping down, down to, to my, my desktop. desktop. So you're going to go to here. You're going to go to flightsim.to and you will type in Stream Deck. And here are a whole bunch of profiles. This guy here, Gonzelli, got the pronunciation wrong. Once again, I do apologize. Uh, this guy here, his work is fantastic. So we're looking at Lorby's Access and O's. We're not looking at the Flight Tracker. Flight Tracker is a free alternative plugin for uh, Stream Deck stroke Microsoft Flight Sim. And it does a similar job to Lorby's Access and O's for that particular section. Lorby's Access and O's does so much more. And that's the one I'm concentrating on. Concentrating on that because I also want to program things like this. I've just started a series on how to configure this Bay Ringer MIDI controller, which is 40 quid or something like that. Use that to control your flights. I love this because it's got rotary controls on it. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. So uh, for the example this evening, I'm going to use the fly-by-wire profile that he's put on here. So you will need Lorby's access and and you'll need a Stream Deck. This is for the Stream Deck XL. Now, last night I did upload a 15 key version of this profile, or these profiles. So there is a 15 key version of this setup for those using the standard Stream Deck. However, my download just contains the Stream Deck profiles. It doesn't contain the scripts for Lorby's access and O's. Those scripts were written by this guy. Hey, download this, even if you want to use my 15 key version. The setup is very similar. So we'll go to here and we'll click download and we'll download a zip file. You take that zip file, you unpack it and you will have this. There is the readme. Here are the Stream Deck profiles to install those, you just double click on them, and those pages of keys will appear in your Stream Deck. Remembering this is for the 25 key version, 25 key? The Stream Deck XL version. If you want the 15 key version, then you need to download my one and double click and put the profiles in, and you'll get all the buttons. Stream Deck. But they won't do anything because you need the scripts in Lorby's Access and O's. And here are the scripts. How do you put them into Access and O's? It is really simple. Access and O's. Script in and import scripts. Navigate to that file. So it was on my two big downloads. And where are we? It's there's the XML file that contains all the scripts. You open it. 
and let's just drag down the pop-up that you can't see this one here what he's done is very sensible he's he sectioned all of his scripts into different subsections so he's got a section of scripts for the autopilot for the displays internal lights the pedestal everything you need all of these scripts so click all of these and press import i'm not going to do it because i've already done it there you are job done so when you go into your stream deck now and go to my stream deck there is my flight sim profile in stream deck and i've downloaded all of gonzelli's uh stream deck plugins uh, for all the aircraft so the a320 if i click on that one it takes me to the a3 page 20 pages I've downloaded and there it all is and we've got the eCam we got the eFIS there's everything there loads of stuff there go back to the base I've also done it for the you can see it. I've done it for all of them so that's how you're going to do it hopefully this very short video will get you on the road to using those stream deck profiles that you can download publicly. And then if you want to modify those or you want to start building your own ones, you can come back and carry on with the rest of the series that I'm recording on I'm in the stream deck. Until uh, tomorrow night when we're going live again with the new show, I hope. Uh, it's the usual message, isn't it? Enjoy your flying. Stay safe. And let me say good night to you. Good night.